Hello everybody, Fox for India, Charlie Echo here. Uh, thanks for the comments um, to all of you that are watching my channel. I posted uh, yesterday a video of this radio <coughs> over here and I said it was a tulip. Very sorry, my tapes were mixed up because I'm uh, videotaping and uh, putting sound over my videos uh, that are not registered in the same time. So uh, yes, it's true, it's a Sparrow radio. So the first audio tape that I made for the video was a little bit of a mistake for the description of the radios, but not entirely because I do have a Tulip radio, a number two, uh, built also by um, a, a Theo. But this was going to be um, a presentation in another, in another video. So um, today I'm just going to talk to you about the Sparrow. I don't have uh, any manuals on it and uh, it doesn't have any labels on the button. Uh, there are buttons that I don't know what are doing. Um, it's just a first contact for me with this radio. Um, I know it's very easy to start and stop. If you can see the Sparrow has an uh, MCHF um, uh, version software on it. So uh, it's a Sparrow radio that it's working like an MCHF radio. Not too complicated. Uh, every button has a double function over here. Uh, so you have um, the volume control, automatic gain control uh, over here with double functions also and a DSP function. It's a touch screen. Um, they don't quite get the idea of the touch screen. Maybe it has to be uh, tuned. Uh, it's not a, ra a radio that I built. It was uh, a land-on for the video. Uh, every button, like I said, it has a double function like this one. It's got red and uh, microphone. I'll just try to see if I can go. Right. Sorry, I had the uh, audio, external audio put in. Um, I don't know what this button does. Uh, sorry, this is the the power button function. Uh, this one, this one, I really don't know what it does. Um, you have um, filtering over here on this button, and uh, you have mode on this button. Sorry, you have the mode on this button over here. Um, here you have uh, the change frequency button, like for bands over here here you can hear the relays click and here is the spacing 1 kilohertz 5 kilohertz 10 100 and in the downside 100 Hertz 10 Hertz and 1 Hertz um, and the other side over here you have external audio jack microphone input output these are noted on so it's very simple uh, power jack um, for PA and the key jack for uh, CW. Uh, it's not finished, like I said in the last video, it's not finished as you can see. Uh, I find it a, li a little noisy. Uh, maybe some of you knows uh, a solution for this one. Like I said, it's a test. Um, I'm just showing you guys how it's working. Um, I will not put it in TX mode because it's not finished, but I'm going to show you a little bit of reception and a little bit of the functions. Uh, to be honest, it's a new thing for me also. So uh, let's put it in receive and see um, how it's going to work. And I'm going to show you guys the menu just after this. In the menu function, you have Standard menu, configuration menu, display, CW mode, filter, selection, um, sorry, PI configuration, touch screen, uh, system info, um, uh, expert settings, and Hall of Fame. These are the infos from the guys that build it. And like I showed you, this radio does not uh, emit. I have to just change here. If you can see here, 
the transmitter is disabled, you have it on. If I go off, the tune will come on. So it will automatic tune. We'll just put it in off because it's not a finished radio. And we go gonna go and exit. The first thing that I saw is that you really need an enclosure for the, the tulip. Why? Because the speaker is on the back side and if you go like this, well, you don't hear about anything on the radio. Let's start with some CW and see if I can find any activity here. First impressions, a little bit noisy. Very good receive, a little bit noisy. CW works very, very good. Beautiful. Very good, Americana. K2, K2, sorry, with deep as 10, 15 over S9. Very good audio. Alles good, the black gets on. So that's why I'm not saying. Good solution now, yeah, and all is good at it. That's it, pictures. So, first impression, um, what can I say? It's, it's a nice little rig. Uh, I don't know the price of it. To be honest, I don't know how much Theo paid for this kit, and uh, I don't know how much it took them to to build it. Uh, pff, to be honest, I will pay about 150 euros for for a kit like this. If I was me, I would not go over 150 euros. Um, beautiful uh, reception, a little bit noisy, like I already said. Uh, transmission, I'll think it's gonna get like 5 watts maximum would uh, recommend it for soda activations and flora and fauna even though it goes 5 watts you can put in a PA on it but um, it can be an all-day radio also but for the price I think if it goes up for 150 euros I will definitely take it for soda activations or you know just throw it in the mud and uh, take it uh, like an everyday radio in the backpack um, it's a little bit big to, to put in a, in a pocket uh, it's a all around carry bag radio uh, stay tuned for the next one I'm gonna put in it later in another video uh, all the best from south of France 73 to all